Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The police have charged 53-year-old Henry Topping with the murder of his estranged Jamaican wife in Seaview District, St. Elizabeth, last Friday. Topping, who is of a Florida address in the United States, was charged with murder on Wednesday, almost a week after he allegedly shot the woman as she headed for work in her school bus. Narcotics police detectives have arrested and charged Clarendon businessman LaSalle Taylor in relation to ganja-related offenses. Taylor, who is also a farmer, is charged with possession of ganja, dealing in ganja, and using premises for the storage of ganja. Overseas Empire actor Jussie Smollett has been granted bail in the sum of $100,000 after he staged a racist and homophobic attack because he was unhappy about his salary and wanted to promote his career. Before the attack, Smollett also sent a threatening letter that targeted himself to the Fox studio in Chicago where Empire is filmed. The Jamaica Defense Force last night walked away with the R.J. Arglina Platinum Award for its contribution to education through the Jamaica National Service Corps. The Corps is a state-led initiative aimed at transforming at-risk youth into model citizens and producing an army of competent workers to drive industry and commerce. In sports, Jamaican gymnast Tony Ann Williams is now on crutches after rupturing her Achilles tendons during competition. Williams said she was completely devastated and heartbroken. In year current trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $132.44, the British pound sterling for $171.38, and the Canadian dollar for $104.38. In year weather forecast, Friday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect partly cloudy skies across hilly inland areas with windy conditions. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.